Dear Makumasa students, I'm happy to see all the lively discussions that resulted from the first uh, challenge in the PV2 X course. With this feedback video, we will wrap up the first challenge. In the first challenge, we asked you to think about how photovoltaic technologies can be applied in our human habitat, and more importantly, how it can be integrated into products. We challenge you to think out of the box, so let's discuss some of your innovative ideas. So, I will start with the first one, which is related to floating PV. It's from Alastair Eng. Living in Australia, we have a great deal of solar potential, so much that there is quite an impact on the surface water storage, dams through evaporation. I was going to suge suggest the applicability of solar PV modules in an array to cover water storages to reduce evaporation as it seemed a novel approach. Indeed, uh, like, like here you give it a multifunctionality by uh, reducing the evaporation, so increasing the performance of an hydroelectricity dam and secondly generated, generating solar electricity. Here you see some examples of a floating PV as well. So in uh, areas where area simply is cars, uh, people start more using photovoltaics on water surfaces, uh, like uh, some examples we have seen the last years in Singapore. The second topic, which came back in many of uh, the feedback of you is building integrated photovoltaics, like uh, Mohamed Alaquil. He uh, mentioned replacing aluminium or glass panels in buildings by PV. And uh, Amar M11, I saw a few videos where a company is designing solar cells that are transparent and can function as windows as well. I think it's a novel idea, but I'm sure the efficiency of these cells is reduced to incomplete spectral utilization. Here again, you give the PV product a multifunctionality. It is a window, so it, uh, it lets light entering a room in a building. But secondly, it also generating current. And of course, logic in these applications, the efficiency goes down. But due to the multifunctionality, still uh, the cost price of the window itself uh, is still and can be competitive. Then we had some remarks on stand-alone systems, like uh, an example of student Yap. In my country, Ecuador, the bus is the main convenience, so the bus stops has a big flux of people every day. The people spend around 5 to 10 minutes in a bus stop. In addition, these bus stops are located in places in which there are no obstacles to collect solar radiation. So these are the perfect places to sell publicity spaces powered by solar energy. So the, uh, uh, the photovoltaic products powers an advertisement screen. Uh, another example is from uh, Fryas. I used to work for a utility where we had telemetry from the sites in remote locations, even a couple of radio repeater sites. Many would have been built in the mid to late 90s, early uh, early 2000s. Considering the equipment installed, the solar panel of multicrystalline silicon cells were not that big, less than half square meters. A couple of lead acid batteries provided backup power overnight. It seemed to work. So here you see an example of where PV is used in autonomous systems and this is even, to my opinion, becoming more important because we see at the moment the battery cost prices dropping very fast. So uh, it means that uh, even for an autonomous system, it becomes in more and more applications cost competitive. Then we have some really out of the box ideas uh, being uh, offered on our platform. So one of uh, Bart de Delvaux, in thin film, could be made more robust, not impossible given the fast evolution in development of new materials. They could be used to cover driveways. The energy generated by the PV coating could then be used to power magnetic vehicles on top of it. Kind of a magnetic power train or maybe even personal cars. Or too much science fiction. 
Here you see two examples where already the concept of solar ro roads are being uh, tested. Uh, one of these examples is a uh, bicycle path in the Netherlands. And of course there the challenge is uh, you uh, a PV module has as a front side a transparent layer and uh, using it also as a road uh, you will reduce the transmission. So uh, these are very novel ideas but also still a lot of challenges to combine the multifunctionality of road with something which is a PV panel. But you see the wild ideas already being implemented or being tested. Another uh, innovative idea, PV integrated enclosing. This is uh, suggested by uh, Pedro Glo 77. Several years ago there was an initiative for implementing amorphous solar cells into clothing. Adding a small battery or a capacitor into a jacket or a coat. This small battery was able to recharge your phone for several hours. Which would help you with the issue of running out of battery for instance. Complementing to the first idea posted today. I believe retaking this idea could be both beneficial and there is a market uh, for it. So here you already see some examples and currently I also know that there are some projects where they try to integrate solar. There's also becoming more and more important because we as people carrying around more and more gadgets which needs some electricity, some power. Um, so then we have a, a last idea and that's again from Alster Eng and water cleaning using the surface of water solar tanks. My previous job involved the work with water supplies in remote locations. Much of the time water quality was let down by inefficient disinfection. Given the available surface area of water tanks, I was wondering if it would be possible to integrate an electrochlorination unit into a water tank design, powered by inbuilt photovoltaic generation in the water tank roof and or rolls. The volume of water may also assist in keeping the panels cooler than on a ground installation. So here again a very innovative idea in combining the solar electricity with uh, the functionality of cleaning water. Um, by, by accident we have been working on a similar topic, not on system level as suggested by Alistair, but on very lab skill level and here see an example of uh, Paula Perez Rodriguez, a PhD student at Delft University of Technology. She made a very small uh, a demonstrated device, so a, a, a solar cell with an, uh, a photoelectrochemical uh, surface catalyst in which she was cleaning water by shining light on a water tank and using this device she was able to break down um, uh, phenol which is an or, uh, organic pollution into water. So even solar in combination with water cleaning technologies is a very interesting topic and I think uh, we should as PV field community look into these ideas as well. So uh, this summarizes a short recap on all the feedback. Uh, I think we have seen some excellent ideas and uh, soon we will uh, uh, present the second challenge. We will do that next week. And there I also motivate all the students to not only post ideas, but also discuss these ideas. So respond to the ideas and give some positive feedback. So see you back next week as we present the new challenge in the MicroMasters community.